G'day, Dylan here. So tonight, a uh, cool thing happens from where I am, which is Saturn slips behind the moon. Uh, it slips behind the moon and then re-emerges a while later, which is a really nice opportunity to grab a photo of the ringed planet and the moon together in one frame. Uh, this happens pretty regularly, at least once or twice a year, sometimes three times a year. So depending on where you are on the Earth, this changes. To know where and when it's happening, there's a couple of options, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it, and hopefully I'll catch it. My name is Dylan O'Donnell, and you're watching Star Stuff. Before I get into the details, I'd like to give a quick shout out to High Point Scientific. The great thing about High Point Scientific, since they started sponsoring my videos, is that the comments that you guys leave have reaffirmed for me that it's a really good experience. I've had no negative feedback about High Point Scientific at all. They support their products, they have a price match guarantee, and they're really good guys to deal with. So any of the gear that you see in this video, or for most of my videos, you can get from High Point Scientific. So I hope that helps. Okay, so knowing whether there's going to be an occultation or not, um, the old school way is by the almanac that you have for your country, uh, which has all the things that go on from month to month. And a quick flip through at the beginning of the year, you'll see uh, what's happening on any given month. So I, I knew that this was coming a long time ahead. Uh, Bintel also has their events page, so that can be very helpful as well. Sky Guide has a list of things coming up, including the occultation. And what I like about it is that you can simulate for your location. If I fast forward the time, I can see exactly what's going to happen, exactly how Saturn's going to be immersed, and then emerge on the other side and where that's going to happen and what time. So that's a really good way to check what's going on. But I've got my deep space rig set up here with the 1600mm, which can do the fast frame rate we need for planetary as well. Uh, but I'm wondering if the sampling is right or if I should do this even with the DSLR because that's an easier way to get the color image of Saturn going behind the moon. Uh, I think the best detail though is going to be with the 174mm and my 2.5 Barlow, the same way I'd normally do planetary and then I can just crop wider. Um, I might only end up with a black and white photo unless I do the RGB filters now because Saturn's moving, the problem of course with RGB filters is that you'll have to realign those RGB frames of Saturn. It's not like it's a fake image, it actually happened, but it does mean you do have to realign those colours. That's a good start. I've got Saturn on the screen there, and as you can see, it's uh, getting pretty close to the moon, so we should see it coming into frame shortly. Just a little bit excited. It's about to go behind the limb, the dark shadow side of the moon, so I might put this live on Instagram. Okay, so for immersion, I've uh, changed up the strategy and chucked my DSLR camera, which is what I normally record the videos on, uh, straight to the back of the tube. Uh, we've got the moon there, uh, the filter wheel is there, so there's a bit of a image circle around. But weirdly, this uh, dot has just showed up. Anyway, so what I'll do is I'll bump this up. It needs to be that bright for me to see Saturn coming off the other side. about it that was my first time doing an occultation so I don't really have much advice because I don't have much experience 
Uh, what I can say is that the planetary camera fared far better than the DSLR and I probably should have just stuck with that. It is hard getting the exposure uh, nice so that both the planet and the moon are nicely exposed because they are wildly different in brightness. But still, it's a cool thing to document and a cool thing to uh, capture and I created a little animated GIF that I can share out. It turned out well enough, I thought. I hope you have good luck with your occultation photography. And remember to check out the sponsor of this video, High Point Scientific. That's it from me, so remember, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die.